Hi everyone. Today I'm going through integration topic for JC H2 Maths. Okay, integration is a very big topic in JC Maths as compared to O level. Alright, because there are many more techniques which you need to learn for integration in A level. Okay, so before you watch this video, I'm assuming that you know your basic techniques in your O level A Maths. Alright, for the, those integration basic techniques, if you are still not very sure, do go and revise. Okay, because in this lesson, I will cover all the techniques which you will need to learn for JCH2 maths. Alright, so without further ado, let's go through the first formula which, need, which you need to learn, which is called the standard formula. Okay, because this is the most common formula that you'll be using. Alright, so for the first one, where you integrate f prime x times fx to the power n, okay, in other words, where you differentiate inside the bracket over here, the fx, Alright, when you differentiate fx, you get f prime x. Can you recall that f prime x is actually the derivative of fx? Okay, in other words, when outside is the derivative of inside, okay, what, be, what you do basically is the power plus 1, okay, the n plus 1, that's the first step, and they will divide by the final power. Okay, that means you divide by n plus 1, they put plus c behind. Okay, so once again, let me repeat that again. All right, so when the outside function is a derivative of the inside function, okay, basically there are just two steps. The first step is the power plus one, okay, n become n plus one, and the second step is you divide by the final power. Okay, but of course, don't forget to put the plus c. And this formula only applies for n not equals to minus one. Okay, why is that so? Because when n is minus one, minus 1 plus 1 is 0, right? You can't divide by 0 because you get infinity. Okay, so when n is minus 1, I will need to apply a second formula over here. Okay, which I'll go through later. Alright, so for now, let's just cover a few examples for this uh, first formula over here. So for example, I want to integrate x, okay, uh, bracket 2x squared plus 1 to the power of 3 dx. Alright, so first of all, what do you notice? Okay, you notice that inside, okay, well, this is your fx right over here. Alright, so maybe let me write a different color. Alright, so this is your fx. Okay, that means I need to get an f prime x outside, right? So you ask yourself, right, will you differentiate inside here, what do you get? Okay, will you differentiate 2x squared, you get 4x, right? You bring down the 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 4x. And you differentiate 1, you get 0. Okay, so what I need to do is basically I need to introduce a 4 inside here. Alright, I need to introduce a 4 inside here. And to balance the whole thing, I need to time 1 quarter outside. Okay, this is very important, right? Because 1 quarter times 4, I must get back the original function, which is uh, x. Okay, so if I introduce a 4, I must, I must introduce a 1 over 4 outside to balance the whole thing. Alright, so now my outside here will be my prime x. Can you see? Because I when I differentiate f x, I will get f prime x outside. Okay. So for so after you have gotten this, you'll be able to apply the formula. All right, which is one quarter. Okay. Don't forget that one quarter remain outside. And since f prime x is the derivative of inside, okay. Remember the two-step process. Okay. The first step is power plus one. Okay. So three plus one give you four. And the second step is divide by the final power, right? So divide by 4 plus c. Okay? And so do remember to simplify your answer. 1 over 4 times 4 is 1 over 16. So it will be 1 over 16 bracket 2x squared plus 1 to the power of 4 plus c. Alright? So this is an example of how you can apply the first formula. Okay, let's look at another one over here. I want to integrate. Mm, x plus 1 over x squared plus 2x plus 5. Okay, then bracket power 2. Okay, so first of all, I need to express this in, in this uh, format, right? So the first step is I need to bring the denominator up. Alright, change the index form first. So I will get x plus 1. Okay, when you bring the denominator up, what happened to the power? The power becomes negative, right? You have learned this in your indices, 
in uh, previous years. Okay, you'll get something like this to a power of negative 2 dx. Alright, okay, so now this will be my fx. Okay, so over here is my fx. Okay, so you ask yourself, will you differentiate inside here, what do you get? You differentiate x squared, you get 2x. Right, you differentiate 2x, you get 2, and you differentiate 5, you get 0, right? So maybe let me uh, write it down here. So when you differentiate x squared plus 2x plus 5, all right, you'll get 2x plus 2, right? So now, I need to make this into f prime x. So what do I need to introduce inside? Okay, I think you should have guessed it by now. I need to introduce in a 2, okay, because... 2 times x give me 2x, while 2 times 1 give me 2. I'll get the f prime x over here. Okay, so if I introduce you in a 2, I must introduce in a half outside, right? Do once again to balance the thing. Okay, because half times 2 will give me back 1. Okay, so now I'm all good to go. I'm apply, I can apply the formula now, because this is my f prime x, and outside is my fx. Okay, so now if I integrate this, my formula will become half, bracket, x squared plus 2x plus 5. Okay, minus 2 plus 1 will give me minus 1. Then divide by minus 1 plus c. Okay. Okay, so now how do we simplify this? Okay. Um, half divided by minus 1 is minus half, right? And because the power is a negative, you can't leave your answer like this. You must change, back, change it back to a fraction form. Alright, so you get negative 1 over 2 bracket x square plus 2x plus 5. Okay, because minus 1, you bring it down. All right, there's a 1 here, but you don't need to write a 1. Okay, you can just uh, leave, your, leave your answer as like this. All right, this will be your final answer. Okay, so perhaps I would like to try one more example. All right, so for example, okay, I want to integrate. Okay. Um, x over square root 1 minus x squared. Okay, so once again, I need to change this back to index form. So I will need to bring the denominator on top. Okay, when I bring the denominator on top, I will get bracket 1 minus x squared to the power of negative half. Okay, because square root is power half, right? So you bring it up on top, you get negative half. Okay, so now you apply the formula again. So this is my fx. Sorry, this is my f prime x. Sorry, not fx. I mean, sorry, this is my fx and not f prime x. Right, this is my fx. And I will need to get the f prime x outside, right? Okay, so to do that, you ask yourself, you differentiate, right? Where you differentiate the inside, the fx, what do you get? Right, where you differentiate 1 minus x squared, you get minus 2x, right? Because differentiate 1 is 0, and differentiate my, minus x squared, you get minus 2x. Okay, so I'll need to introduce in a negative 2 over here. Okay, so to balance the thing, I'll need to introduce in a negative half outside. Okay, make sense? Alright, so once you have an f prime x also of fx, you are good to go to apply the formula. So the answer will be negative half. Okay, do remember to keep the coefficients outside. Right, the minus half stay outside. And 1 minus x squared, minus half plus 1 will give me half, divided by the final power. Alright, the final power is half plus c. Okay, and you can't leave your answer like this because you can actually simplify further. The half and half will cancel away, right? Because half divided by half is one, and so the answer will be negative one minus x square to the power of half plus c. Okay, so this is how we can actually apply the standard formula, okay, for the first one, right? So in the next video, I will cover how do we apply the second formula, right? Which is this one over here.